What's going on? It's Billy Thilo with Masterful Mechanics Baseball. I'm here with Nate Miller for Toss and Talk number three. And Nate graduated from uh, Cumberland Valley High School, and he is going to be a sophomore at Goldie Beacom College as a pitcher only. So, Nate, if you could tell us a little bit about what it was like transitioning from being a position player, you know, hitting every day to going to college and just being a PO, a pitcher only, and, and yeah. not hitting anymore. Yeah, so I'll be honest, I was kind of excited to be a pitcher only. You know, I've always loved pitching. Um, I mean, I liked hitting and all, but it's kind of nice because in college they really specify on a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, pitching-wise. So I really got to hone in on what I really love to do, and that's pitch. So. so do you think that's made you a better pitcher than able to just focus on one aspect of the game? Yeah, yeah. I think it definitely made me a better pitcher. Um, I have a lot more confidence in myself, too, knowing that I can trust myself, trust what I've learned. Um, yeah. Has that changed your training regimen at all? Obviously, other than not like practicing hitting anymore? Yeah, I mean, I'm able to do a lot more new things. Um, and I'm also able to learn how my body moves, too. Because mm -hmm. um, pitching is all about movement. It's mm -hmm. all about, you know, mobility. And, and I'm able to really hone into that and figure out how my body works and how it moves and, you know, figure out new things to try. And and we throw harder. Definitely. Like we were just talking about, you learn something new every day. Exactly. You just showed me a new like hip stretch, you know, that I could barely do. So <laughs> I'm going to try to work on that and get better. But it is cool, you know, especially with pitching, there's so much that goes into it, you know, that, that people don't normally think about. Yeah. Whether it's yeah, the strength, mobility, you know, or um, you like your pitch design, you know, how you, mm -hmm. how you grip the baseball, all yep. these things. So what is your favorite thing about playing college baseball so far since you got one season under your belt? I would say the family that comes with it. You're, you're with a group of guys for nine months out of the year, and you're pretty much every day with them. You know, you're You just broke my glove. Them. I just broke it. <laughs> you throw too hard. Um, you're with a, the same group of guys for nine months. I mean, you're eating with them. You're hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. You're doing homework with them. You're pretty much doing everything with them. Um, and it's awesome to have a group of 40 guys who pretty much have your back all the time. Right, and right. You're always there to talk to them, so. Yeah, and I'm sure some of those guys you're going to stay in touch with, you know, once you graduate college and move on to whatever you're going to do. Exactly. You know, and they're, you're going to be able to, like, be friends with them and keep in contact, and that's mm -hmm. a cool aspect about baseball. Yeah. So you're able, are you able to learn anything from your teammates, from other pitchers or even position players? 100%, especially from the veterans and all the seniors, like all those guys. Um, They've been, they've been playing baseball a little bit more than me, so they always got something to talk to me about. Maybe it's mental, physical, something I could be doing. Um, third, I love them all, so I'm always able to learn from all of them, even if it's my catcher, if it's first baseman, doesn't matter who mm -hmm. it is, but I'm always able to learn something new. Maybe it's even from the hitting aspect. Right. You know, it's not always I'm learning something new from a pitcher. Maybe it's from a hitter. Maybe they're looking for this at this time. Like, you know, maybe I can mix it up, so. Mm hmm Right, so facing a hitter, you know, you can kind of get in their head and see what they're thinking. Exactly. That's a good point. So what do you, are, did you uh, choose a major yet? Yeah, I'm going for business management. So. Nice. So how is it different academically transitioning from high school to college? I would say it's a lot more specified in what you want to do. You know, there's a lot more options. You know, you're not just showing up to school and maybe your junior year like oh what are my classes mm -hmm. you know you get to pick your classes you get to pick what you want to do and to be honest it makes me want to learn more because I'm learning something that I want to learn uh -huh. not something that I'm forced to learn right. so I would say it's a lot more geared towards you and what you like so and something you're going to be interested in doing like after college exactly. you know so the more you can learn now the better off you're going to be you know in a few years right right have you played against any of your former teammates, whether it be like high school or travel ball or anything like that in college? Um, in college, yeah. I played against, uh, he was, my junior year, he was our shortstop in, when he was a senior. He was a year above me. His name was Jerry Crispino. I love the guy. I played against him when he was at Frostburg State. That was in North Carolina, what we were just talking nice. about earlier. Um, he's at Mansfield now. But he's a great ball player. I played him in Twilight, too, this summer. Oh, so, yeah? Yeah, he just he's popping up everywhere. He nice. just loves me. 
Yeah, the baseball world is actually like kind of small when you think about it. You know, you you yeah. end up knowing a lot of the guys that you're playing with and against. Yep. So, what is what's your favorite part about the game of baseball? What do you love most about it? Wow, that's a deep question. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for this one. I'm um, trying here. I would. I know I've already said this about my college teammates, but the family and the bond mm -hmm. that you create with all these players mm -hmm. and your teammates, it's, it's incredible. Um, I love going to a field, playing my butt off, having some guys joking around with me and, you know, just having a great time. It's honestly, it's more of a mental break than anything. And I love it. Right, so. it gives you a break from real life, you know? Because exactly. once you're on the field, that's all you're thinking about is ball. Exactly. And the cool part about being a good teammate also is, like, the closer of a bond you guys have with your team, the better you're going to be. Exactly. You know, even if you don't have the best guys, you know, the most talented baseball players... If you have the tightest family and you're playing for each other, you have good team chemistry, you know, you can win ball games against teams that have a lot more talent than you. Yeah. So And I'm sure you've seen that happen. It honestly, that's what happened last year with our team um, at Goldie Beacom. Yeah, um, I was talking to some of the seniors and they were they were always telling me that like this team has so much chemistry and the bond that's created that the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. And I think we kind of proved that last year. We hosted a regional Made it to the regional championship. One, pretty much one run, two runs away from going uh -huh. to the super regional. I mean, the sky was the limit. That's and exciting, yeah. Yeah, it was really exciting, you know. And it's, honest to God, it's the truth. You know, the bond and the chemistry that you guys have, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like life, you know. Exactly. When we're working, coaching, working, whatever you're doing, you know. Yep. If you can work well with your coworkers, your teammates, you know, you're going to have a lot better experience and you're going to be a lot more efficient, you know? Yep. All right, so what is the most difficult part about the game of baseball? Most difficult? I would say, I know it's like beating an old drum, but everyone's going to say it's always mental. Mm -hmm. Baseball is... It is, though, most, that's why. ...the most mental game. And it's, it's wild what happens when you have a negative mindset and expectations that are unreasonable that you just don't trust yourself you don't trust what you know mm -hmm. and it just doesn't go your way and you think negatively and then it gets worse mm -hmm. you know you have to have a positive mindset in baseball or else it just it won't go your way at all mm -hmm. it just won't so do you think playing with confidence is one of the most important factors on the mental side I, I would agree with that. I would also say there is such thing as overconfident. Yeah. Um, there is a point where you got to know what you are and mm -hmm. what you do. I mean, I'm not a home run hitter, so I shouldn't go up to the plate every time right. trying to hit a home run. Right. You know, just because I did it once doesn't mean I can do it right. 40 more times throughout the season. But if you go up to the plate thinking I'm going to catch a barrel every time, it's going to put you in a better position to I'm gonna achieve I'm going to hit this that. hard on a line and... I, I think that's the best mindset. If or when you're on the mound, every pitch is going to be a good pitch, you know? Exactly. Right where I want it. There's intent for every pitch. Right. And you got to trust every pitch. Exactly. There's been countless times where my catchers put down a changeup. I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to throw a changeup. I throw it, you know, not trusting it, and it hangs and, you know, gets banged. Hangs and bang. And that, that happens, you know? Oh, but if, if you yeah. trust your pitches, they're more likely to go where you want them to. Yep. So... Actually, I just had this, I had this conversation with my head coach about halfway through last season where he came up to me and, he, and we were talking a little bit and I was like, I was like, I know my pitches are great, right? Like I have a lot of movement and I know it's good. I just don't think I'm trusting it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you, you just have to be confident in what you have because what you have is great. Mm -hmm. You just have to be confident in it. You have to trust it. You have to trust the defense behind you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's all true because I was trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to be perfect yeah. every pitch. Especially first year in college, you know, you're trying to be, right, you're trying to do exactly. too much. So about like 
halfway through the year, my ERA was still above a 30. And then I finished out the year, and I think I only gave up like one or two more runs uh-huh. throughout my last like seven starts or, or seven appearances, and brought the ERA down below a 10. So nice. that was always good. But and numbers uh, really don't mean anything, you know? No, like, they don't. They really don't. Not always indicative of how well you play or how well you pitch. Exactly. All right, so last question. What is one piece of advice you would give to youth athletes that want to play at the high school and college level? Well, I would always say always be willing to learn more. You know, I, I learn new things every day. Mm-hmm. Whether or not I admit it or not, I learn new things every day in everything I do. Because that's what you get with experience. You learn new things every day every time you do it so i would say learn and trust even your own teammates because they can even teach you something new Mm -hmm. i I taught you a hip stretch Mm -hmm. about 20 minutes ago. and you're 19 years old right exactly i'm 19 and i just taught you a hip stretch and you taught me a band exercise too like two years ago when you were in high school that i learned from someone else right you know everything everything in baseball is passed down coaches get it from other coaches that's just it how it's how it is you know I've talked to coaches about it and it's how it is so you're always learning something new mm-hmm. and you can just learn it from anybody it doesn't matter who it is mm-hmm. it could be a catcher third baseman pitcher it doesn't matter you can always learn something ask questions always be curious about everything you know there's always something to be ta- mm-hmm. taught always something to be learned that's a great one so always be willing to learn and ask questions exactly. right exactly Perfect. Anything else you want to add or are you smooth? I'm smooth. All right. You did a great job, dude. Thank you. And we kept it G-rated, so good work, dude. (laughs) Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate you.